Hi guys, so this is a craft idea I just thought of. Uh, sorry for the lighting, it's like really terrible. But this is just a photo frame that I made. And I'm going to show you what you'll need. It's just like that. And I'm going to show you what you need. It's really simple to make and I'm going to talk you for step to step. So, all you will need is a ruler. Um, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter what size because you've only got to measure one centimeter. Uh, some scissors, some tissue paper or something to decorate the outside with like I've done here. Uh, I just used tissue paper in there and I scrunched them into little balls already. A pencil, lolly sticks. Now uh, it doesn't have to be coloured. I would um, use both, like any, but I have no choice because I only have coloured. But I thought like wooden plain wooden would be actually really nice because like it could be really natural yeah and this is here for a reason on all of them so I'll talk you through that later and you will also need some kind of glue I use I'm gonna use a hot glue gun but you can also use PVA glue um, it's just as good but this dries a lot faster and it will be a lot easier to use because obviously it dries faster and you can get through the steps easier and you will also need like a folder you know you just put A4 paper in it and it's just like a a folder that you open this has already been cut out for my last one just a tester one so like yeah just an old folder that only like pence okay so I'm just gonna get started First, you're going to have to mark out on each of your lolly sticks, each of your four lolly sticks, one centimetre on each end, which is like that, on both ends. And do this for all of your lolly sticks. I've already done this, so I can go on to the next step. I'm going to have to switch my hot glue gun on. Oops, it's just gone all flying. Hang on a second, my hot glue gun never stands up. Oh my god, it's just stood up. Plop, and it goes down. Okay. Oh yeah, you also need a photo to put in. I was going to use my um, auntie's old tiger cub, but I can't seem to find it, so I'll just put that in later. Um, while that's heating up, I'm sorry, I should have put that on. I'm just going to show you something that I made. And I like, really like it. It's a candle thing. You take the thing off and it's like a candle and it matches this and it's a coke bottle that I've just cut the top and the bottom off and you stick a load of stuff in it and it's just like, a, you can twist this off like that and I just covered it, it looks really pretty so yeah, right that should be heating up soon oops Okay, it's not working. Okay, hang on, just two seconds. What? The rice for Jane. Uh, no, thank you, that's lovely. But chew. Actually, no, can I have rice, please? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just gonna get another glue stick in. He just wanted to know what I wanted for tea, so yeah. Anyways, so once that's heated up, it heats up usually pretty quick. Oh yeah, it's heating now. Right. So, what you do is you get your two sticks, and you see where the line is, and you match that line onto there, so it's like a cross, like this. And you just put a blob of glue here. And you stick this down to the line. And five, four, three, two, one, and it's stuck. So it should look like that. And you do that to all of your sides. I really 
really wish I had a fast forward thing on this, but I don't, so, oops, sorry if it's taking a while. There we go, so that should look like that so far. And then you just simply add the bottom one on. So it makes sort of a frame. Oops. Well, that didn't go so well, but it's okay. There we are. So there we have the frame. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, you also need a bit of cardboard that goes at the back, which I haven't got. <laughs> Hang on, I, I thought I was like being a bit too prepared. I never am prepared, so I just thought it would be like a change, but no. Anyway, it's okay, I fixed it. Okay, so I'm just using this because it fits quite nicely. It fits quite nicely in my old one my other one okay so I just line it up and you cut it out and this may take a few attempts now this is what I did I put it down and I drew a line there and I might need to move that down a bit and about there okay so then you just cut with the scissors or if you've got any, um, I don't know how to say it, is it insecto knife? I don't know. Anyways, and you can use that. I have one downstairs, but I can't be bothered to get it. So that's that. I mean, I just got like ran around the house trying to get everything ready. And then I forget the piece of cardboard. And I forget the, in, I think it's an, an execto knife, I don't know. Anyways, so that's the piece of card. Now, it's not an exact fit, so what you can do is you can turn it round. And you're going to have to cut about there, like this. I hope you're getting this because I'm not the best at explaining things. like that and hopefully this will fit a lot better like there so when you turn it around it's really pretty it's like red and black like that if you can see sorry the lighting again okay so this time you get your glue that's leaked all over the place yours probably hasn't leaked and you just glue along here you have to do this pretty fast because it dries like that and you stick it down okay now there may be a little bit of gap but when you put your photo in that will cover it up and okay so that's the first part to making the actual like bit where you put it in now this is for the like tricky er uh, part um what you have to do is you have to get your folder and you have to cut out i should have done this before oh well so you have to sort of cut out a square. I'm just going to cut it out rough at the moment. And I'll show you in a second. Okay. So this is just like a square that I cut out. You can hardly see it, but... There. And then you line it up on here. You can cut a straight edge if you want to. I'm gonna cut. So now I've lined it up and I've got almost an exact thing, like a shiny thing on it. What you have to do is you have to get your glue and do a like little splodge. Now 
if you're using PVA glue, this is where the good bit comes in because usually PVA glue dries clear. Although um, hot glue does not dry clear. Well, it leaves a little splodge. So that's where um, the covering it up comes in. Like the decoration part here, along there. That's where that comes in because as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, there, it's like a little lumpy thing, so it's good if you cover that up, because you don't really want to see that on a photo frame, and if you're doing it for a gift, they'll be like, oh, you made this, but why is there like a thousand splodges on the side, I don't want to put a photo in this, so, yeah, <laughs> and you do the same to all the sides, Do you want to make it half decent? I mean, that one was my first time, and it failed a little bit, but so is this one. So, now they're all stuck down, like that. Now, so your photo doesn't fall out, you're going to have to stick one of these down here. Oops. Right there, like that. So now the photo won't be able to come out because you've glued one side. Now it's very important that you don't glue this side because that is where you'll put your photo in. So on this one, I can take this photo out if I want to and replace it with a new one, like that. And it just slides in and it's the same background there. And by the way, this is my little sister and my cousin when they were tiny. So, it's just like, so you know that. And then, to stop you a picture falling out from the sides and, I mean, the top and the bottom. Then, oops. Then you can just lift it up. It's quite tricky, because it all sticks down. You can get your ruler. Eee, come up, stupid thing. Ah, here we are. Okay, got that up. And you just... There we are, that's the best it'll do. You're going to cover that up anyways. So the picture's not going to fall out the bottom now. And then we need to make sure it don't fall out the top either. This one's a little bit easier. There. like that so it's like that and you've still got a place where you can put your photo in so that's the start and then to decorate it you can decorate it, it as well or like stuff as you want I'm just gonna put some splodges along here and I'm just gonna put these on that I've already made But it dries pretty quick, so you have to do it fast. Like that. And this is the start. Just like this. I really hope you can see. Like this. Now, I admit that it isn't as good as the first one because I've been trying to get it on camera. And you just keep on doing that until your photo is done. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. It, if you carry on, it will look like that, and if you put a photo in it, it will look like this. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and I hope it turns out much better than mine did. Bye.